Happy Sunday! Welcome to the studio. Yes, we're still on holidays in beautiful Napier. And the best thing about being on holidays is having the time to wander around. Come and see what fabulous things we found today. From this fabulous shop oh my gosh it was really hard deciding on which papers to get and the lady was so lovely look how beautiful that is that's just gorgeous now there's the website you need to check it out it's absolutely fabulous shop the lady is a total darling hurts her and her husband's business and he's in Japan and she goes over and she chooses everything herself personally for the shop. I mean, that's just fabulous. So I bought some note paper, cute as, I think there's three designs, 18 sheets. Look at this beautiful card. I bought some gift cards. This one, which means victory. Yes, hello, we like victories. <laughs> And this one means courage and bravery. Loving the writing, going to use that, absolutely. And then I bought some postcards. These are totally glorious. Look at these. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm going to have trouble fitting all this on my art <laughs> journal page. These are the papers that I finally decided on. It was not easy. There's so much in that shop. And they're all so beautiful. And the lavish designs. Are we ready? Ta-da! <laughs> I bought some beautiful handmade mulberry paper. That is glorious as well. I bought the, the piece there and the envelope because I thought I might want to use some on my pages. Love that. And then here are the glorious colours that I bought. Oh my gosh, they're just fabulous. You know... I'm going to be going hard to decide which ones we're using today. But, oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes and yes. That's what I'm going to say. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> so are we going to go in the warm tones or the cool tones? Because I have an abundance of both. How the heck? I had to buy two of those because they're amazing. But how am I supposed to decide with all of this gorgeous color? And of course, then when I add the postcards and the writing on the gift cards and this, this is just glorious. I have to go with that. And then some note paper and some handmade mulberry paper. Oh man, that is just glorious. 
I think I definitely want to use this card because it's beautiful and I'm really smitten with this paper. Of course I am. It's got red and gold in it. What's not to love? I think I would like some of the writing on it. That's going to definitely match. So we might start with those. These are gorgeous too, but I don't think we're going to fit them all on one page. I could use some of these as well. Oh, the black's dramatic. Yes. So all I'm going to say is that's going to have to go on as well. Well, I think I'm narrowing it down. <laughs> and it's not an easy task. Let me tell you, that shop was so amazing. I so enjoyed my time in there. Look at that. It looks like a watercolour painting. It probably is. Just absolutely beautiful. The quality and craftsmanship is amazing. Look at that. Like, I think I'm just totally in love with this card and I could put it on here like that and then I think yes you know I just want to I just want to put it right there on that and I could put this beautiful blue at the bottom even though I'm totally in love with the reds and the golds I think this blue would work better at the bottom of this card which I just have to have I have to have the card so I think I'll start with that that is just glorious. And then put some of these beautiful rich tones on this side. I have to have this piece of paper and probably some of the black because that's so dramatic. That's really nice too. That could work at the bottom. And then maybe one of these, maybe both of these. I'm not sure. <laughs> How much can I fit on these pages? That's the plan. I absolutely love the way this gift card is the whole picture, front and back. That is just too beautiful to pass up. I have to start with that. Oh, look at that. Just glorious. Now, the best part of being on holidays is that you have time to just wander along. We found this shop because we were walking back to our accommodation and we were just strolling along. We'd been for a coffee and it's only a 10 minute walk from where we're staying. So, you know, it was in the afternoon and we were relaxed and we were just wandering along and we found this shop and we were like, oh my gosh, the paper is astounding. Now, my mum's with me and she of course fell in love with all of the beautiful cats pictures that were in there. She bought some coasters of cats because they were just so darn cute and she's going to give them as gifts. It's just fantastic. There was so much in that shop to look at and just the explosion of colour was so entirely delightful and basically hijacked my whole creativity this afternoon because I just had to make something with these beautiful papers. Right, so that's a great start. On that side, those papers are beautiful. Now we just have to decide what we're putting on this side <laughs> because I've got so many options. Now, I'm not saying that that side's finished. I'm just saying it's a great start. Which background are we going to use and what are we going to put on top of it? I'm loving that. I am just loving that colour. I also might put a trim of that at the bottom because that could be really fun. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we could cut a circle. Just thinking about it. I might have to go and have a look in the kitchen and see if there's anything that I can cut a circle with because you know how much I love that and I think it would look pretty cool on those colors. Righto, I'm gonna go do that and see what I can find. So the beautiful part of staying somewhere like an Airbnb is that you have lots of equipment in the kitchen. So this is a bowl and this is a wine glass. Fabulous templates for my glorious circle so I cut that out. Now, I was thinking of putting it on this paper, but it's kind of getting lost. And I want to use all of it. That's my problem. I could put it here. That's kind of cool. That could work. I'm liking it on the blue. Stands out a bit more than on there. Or I could use this paper. That also is totally beautiful. Oh, yes. If I put it on there, I think it's going to probably get the most impact 
Maybe I could put some of this one that I'm totally in love with at the bottom here. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Oh man, there's just too many choices because the papers are so amazing. I definitely have to put this on it somewhere. Should I put it down the side? Maybe, maybe I could do that actually. I don't mind that idea like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. That's probably better than the bottom. Yes, okay, I'm liking that down there. I'm loving this explosion of color. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Um, so this one, it's probably a bit stiff on the red, even though the red is fabulous. I could put the red at the bottom. Yes, I could do that. What about if I pull this off? These cards are made so beautifully. Victory, this one is, victory, feeling it feeling it we could put that there perhaps maybe yeah i don't know it's wrecking my circle maybe we'll put half of it in the circle yeah i don't mind that that's pretty cool look at that we're liking that i'm liking that we'll put half of it in the circle does it still say it's victory if there's only half of it <laughs> is it is it half a victory <laughs> i don't know man i'm just getting silly now <laughs> loving that well there's this little piece here that came out of the card. It was on the back. That's how I knew it was called Victory. So I could probably put that there. You know, I don't mind this. This is working. Yeah, we could do that. That's working. So then that's pretty nice down there. I'm, all right, I'm going to stick that on. And then we're going to do something else here. I didn't mind that whole circle here. Maybe I'll go and cut another one from one of the other pages. Okay, I'm going to do that. Don't you love this? This is like watercolour painting. Gosh, it's amazing. Look at this colour. I hope your eyeballs can handle it. <laughs> I absolutely love it so much. I'm just like, I want to jump into it <laughs> and swim around in it. <laughs> That's fantastic. I just love it. Right up. so I'm going to put this piece on this side and you know it is going to look amazing the craftsmanship of these papers is incredible love all the gold if i was at home i would be spraying something with bling for sure but you know this is holiday art making we're just going to go with the flow. That is just a gorgeous piece of paper. The hardest decision has been which ones to use because they're all so glorious. I've got my circle here and my fabulous victory, half a victory <laughs> under there. And then I cut another circle because I thought I might put it over here, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling it over there. I'm actually thinking I might put it on here. If I put this up a little bit higher. Now, if I had my spray ink, I would bling up that middle center bit for sure, without a doubt. But, you know, we'll just have to live with it being a little bit stark white because I didn't bring any bling spray, but that's okay. We'll go like that. And then I'm thinking we could go we could put this one here. Or oh, maybe we'll put the other half of victory. Oh man, that's a good idea. Oh, which way does it go? <laughs> that, way, that way. I know it does. It goes that way. We could put that under this one. Oh yeah. That's totally working. Loving it. This is only going to be a half a one on the page, but that's okay. I'll just put it on and then when it dries, I'll give it a trim. They're such glorious pieces of paper. right? that's going to work. Totally, that's going to work like that. And when it's dried, I'll trim it. And that goes on there. Yes, loving that so much. Now, I'm going to put something there. Just not sure yet what that's going to be. Because there are so many other options. All right, I'll stick that down. And we'll see where we're at. So I stuck the beautiful paper on there, cut it off the bottom, and I just sat it over there. And it looks really cool. But I'm thinking 
Maybe I could cut the beautiful circles out of this paper and use those. That'd be really cool. You know how much I love the gold. <laughs> the bling is absolutely amazing. That is just fabulous. So I could put those glorious circles on there or else that semicircle that could go on the edge there or they could go on the edge, you know. Oh man, so many options. I'll just come out another one then we'll decide which way we're going to go. Righto, so that looks pretty cool along the bottom there. Uh, that looks pretty cool there, but it might all be too much. So let's take that away. And we could put these up there. That looks, yes, yes, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> See how once you start moving things around, you suddenly go, that's how it's gonna work. Now I just need one more, I'm thinking. One more with the little red on there, on that one. Sometimes you just don't know till you cut things out, put them on the page and move them around. And then it's just like, yes, or it's no. It's really bad when it's a maybe. Because <laughs> then you're like, do I like it? Do I not? And you have to, sometimes, you know, you just have to phone a friend. Right, that's cool. So. I'm liking that. Do we like it there? You know, I think I do like it there. Or do we like them down the bottom? No, we don't. We like them there. I'm thinking we like them on this edge. That looks fabulous. It joins that pages together and it connects it to this other beautiful page. And all of these colors are just magnificent. Now, are we done? Um, I think I'll let it dry and trim it up and then see whether or not I want to be finished. Oh man, I want to keep playing. But <laughs> there's no more space on my page. <laughs> oh, we could add this one. Oh, yes. Okay, that's it. That's the final crescending moment. So this came on the back of the beautiful card. That was this card here. And it had the word victory. Um, which is why I bought the card. What a stunning thing. So I think it's very apt that we have half it here, half it there, and it's connected by that little bit in the middle. And I think I'm really happy with that, and I'm probably done. I just need to stick those down. The colours are incredible, just incredible. It was so much fun wandering into that glorious shop, and the lovely owner was just so friendly and easy to talk to and she didn't mind me wandering around her shop filming which was fabulous because i'm like yes this is going to be a glorious mixed media collage with these papers and the whole thing's just fun and i mean that's what you've got to do on holidays right you just got to have fun and i think because you're in such a relaxed state of mind like we were just, you know, wandering along looking for somewhere to have coffee when we stumbled into the shop. So it just makes for great creativity to have those moments when you're relaxed, you're not stressing, you're not rushing. And you can find glorious, beautiful shops full of amazing papers, beautiful people, and then create some gorgeous art. Ta-da! Yes, I'm loving it. So I'll just let that dry and then I'll give you a close up. Yay! Thank you for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed the creativity of my holiday studio. Come back and see what we're creating next week.